Chloe, you may go have fun at the park. However, you will have 30 minutes, so we will call you when it's time to go home. Okay, thank you, Mom and Dad. OMG, feels so good on the swings. Here is the hero. Hero, hello. I'm just playing on the swing. What about you guys, Gold Leaf and Time Warp? We're just taking a walk. Also, it's Time Warp, not Time Warp. I know, Time Warp is what I said. Sorry, we just got confused with time and time because they're two different words that just happen to sound alike. Oh, that's fine. Hello, Mayor West. Hello, Chloe. How's your be going? Honestly, it's going good. Just hanging out at the park. What about you? I was doing good until you started talking to me. Wait, what? Seriously? No, Jake. My day is going good as well. Okay, that's good, and also a relief. I thought you were serious, but I'm glad that you're just JK kidding, Mayor West. Hello, guys, what are you guys doing? Fishing. Nope, and do you wanna know why? Let me guess, because you have a fear of water. That, and because fishing is beyond pathetic, not to mention hard. Oof, but once you get used to fishing, it becomes easy. Thanks, Chloe. But we still need to face our fear of water. Okay, good luck with that. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry I bumped into you. Oh, haha, <laughs> hi, uh, what's your name? My name is Penelope. What is your name? My name is Chloe, Chloe Park. Nice to meet you, Penelope. Hey, yeah. Nice to meet you, Chloe. So, where do you live so that I can visit you later? Oh, I live in 124 Conk Street. Oh, you live in a pineapple under the sea. That's funny. Anyway, thanks for the address. You're welcome, Penelope. Anything for my girlfriend, Chloe. Time to go home. All right, Penelope. I will see you later. Hello there, Penelope. Hi, Chloe. Me? I come in. Hello, Chloe. Who's that girl? Because she looks beautiful. Mom and Dad, this is Penelope. She's my girlfriend. That's awesome, but unusual. I thought you would have a boyfriend. Hey, Chloe. Can I see your brother, please? Sure thing, Penelope. Hey, Tall. Come on down, please. Penelope wants to see you. What does your brother look like? Hi, I'm Tall. Nice to meet you, Penelope. Why is your brother a truck? Because we adopted him. He didn't have a home. Shouldn't Tall live in a garage? He is a truck, not a human. And since he is not a human, he should not be in the building. About that, Penelope, we don't have a garage. Chloe. Why don't you show your girlfriend to everyone in Bikini Bottom? Good idea, Mom and Dad. Hey, McQueen and Mater, come outside please. There's someone I want to show you. Hello! Whoa! <laughs> Girl! This is Penelope. She is my girlfriend. Hello, McQueen and Mater. Nice to meet you two. That is very weird that you have a girlfriend. You're both minners, so you can't be girlfriends yet. Don't judge our relationship. Come on, Penelope. Let's go somewhere else. Test tube. Can you come outside, please? I want to show you someone. Hello, Chloe. Who's that girl next to you? Test tube. This is Penelope. She is my girlfriend. Uh, Chloe. Why is Penelope your girlfriend? Aren't you two girls? You two are also minors. Hey, Testy. Do not judge our relationship. Come on, Chloe. Let's go somewhere else. Bay, lollipop, gelatin, leafy, and teardrop. Come outside, please. What? What do you want? Can't you see we're doing something here? This better be good. Wow. 
That was so rude. Don't talk to my girlfriend like that. What? You and Chloe are now girlfriends? That is unexpected. Yes, I was about to introduce you to Penelope, but since you were so rude, me and my girlfriend are leaving. Adios, barnacle heads. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Chloe and hello, Penelope. Hi, mommy. Wait, Lucy is your mom. Yes, you probably didn't know that because this is your first time meeting me. That makes sense. Anyway, I will see you later, mommy. Hello. So who's that girl? This is Penelope. She is my girlfriend. Hi there. W-O-A-H Bunchers. What does W-O-A-H stand for anyway? W-O-A-H Bunch stands for real as a whole bunch. Anyway, guys, see you later. Kirby, Toaster, Radio, Lampy, and Blanky, come outside please. I have great news for you. Hi, Chloe. Meeting us again? Huh. And also, who's that girl? My name is Penelope. Penelope is my girlfriend. OMG, I hope you guys don't plan on kissing each other, because kissing on the lips is not for girls. We're not kissing each other right now. Anyway, see you later. Eric Goldberg, I have great news. Hi, Chloe. Who's that girl? Oh my gosh. What is with the question? I'm Penelope. She is my girlfriend. You know what? Since you and Penelope are now officially girlfriends, I'm gonna have Penelope sit next to you. Sounds like a plan, Eric. Kelly and Spore Shroom, come out please. I have someone to show you. Hello, Chloe. How are you? But more importantly, who's that girl? My name is Penelope. I am Chloe's girlfriend. Oh my gosh, Chloe. Are you serious? That makes you a lesbian, Chloe. Come on, Chloe. Let's get out of here. Hi, shaken friends. Meet my girlfriend, Penelope. Hi, God. What's up? What the heck did you just do? Oh, I don't like where this is going. That's because we're going to send it to everyone. Everyone is gonna call you both lesbians. Ha 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 ha. Oh heck no. You can't do that. That is so cruel. Do me a favor and leave our relationship alone. Come on, Penelope. Let's get out of here. Hello, Chloe. Who's that girl? This is Penelope. She is my girlfriend. But we are here to ask you about our relationship. Sure. Come on in, you too. Anyway, Mr. Krabs, me and Penelope are girlfriends. But why do people judge our relationships? Honestly, Chloe, you and Penelope are minors. Also, minors means younger children. Great. Now you're judging our age too? Of course not. I'm just saying that you both are minors is a reason why nobody is used to you two being girlfriends. I don't understand, though. They are my friends. Are you saying that they aren't used to me and Penelope being girlfriends, even if they're my friends? Basically, that is what I'm saying. So, that is correct. Wait a second. Are you also saying that we might be lesbians? Oh, Barnacles, no. I do not like the word lesbians. It's not appropriate. Lesbians means that two girls are in love with each other. I honestly don't think that makes it less inappropriate. Chloe is right. That doesn't make it appropriate. Donna, worth a try, I guess. But, Penelope, I work at the Krusty Krab, by the way. Wait, really? It's true. But she's my only employee since Shake and Orange were fired for lying to me. Then that means your restaurant is understaffed. I mean harshly understaffed. Understaffed? What does that mean? Allow me to explain what understaffed means. It means having very few staff members. Okay, Chloe. Thanks for explaining what understaffed means. I was confused at first. You need to start hiring some more employees. This is an acceptably dangerous. Don't worry, Penelope. We'll get some more employees one of these days. Don't you worry. Let me ask you something, Penelope. Are you concerned about my restaurant not having enough employees? Because to be honest, I appreciate your concerns. I appreciate your concerns as well, Penelope. Sometimes, it can be stressful. Yeah, Chloe is right. I don't blame you, Chloe. I think one of these days we'll get more employees. Don't worry. Okay, but you should hurry up though. I don't like my girlfriend being stressed out. Penelope, can you please not rush Mr. Krabs? But since you care about me, why not get a job at the Krusty Krab like me? Anyway, Mr. Krabs, that's all we wanted to talk to you about. Okay, Chloe. I'll see you later. I cannot believe this. Today was the weirdest day of our lives. Today was our first time being girlfriends. 
and unfortunately for us, they were all judging our relationship. This isn't acceptable. I guess they are not used to us being in love with each other. That hurts our feelings. Don't you mean it hurts your feelings? Because I don't have feelings, I am a puppet. Doesn't being called a puppet offend you? It does not offend me, because it is true. I am a puppet. Look at me. But Penelope, there is something I want to tell you. Go ahead, Chloe. I'm listening. Penelope, I love you. A w w w w. I love you too, Chloe. Let's keep. Thanks for the kiss, Penelope. That was so cute. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. Today was my best day ever in Bikini Bottom, or should I say, our best day ever in Bikini Bottom. Ha <laughs> ha You are so funny, Chloe. This is why I love you. To be honest, I will not regret this. So are you, Penelope. I will not regret this either. We might even get married when we're older. Yeah, but when we get older, we are too young. I am 13 and you are 10 years old. Wait, are you 10 years old? Why? Yes, I am 10 years old. Why do you ask? Oh, I'm curious. I wasn't so sure. So I had to double check on your age. That's all. Oh, okay, Penelope. Oh, and by the way, lovely day outside, right, Penelope? Yeah, it is a beautiful day outside. I love the smell of fresh air, but I love you more, though. Oh, hello, Harley. You are making me blush, but in a cute way. No kidding, Chloe. Girlfriends can make other girlfriends and slash our boyfriends blush. Let's enjoy the sunset, Penelope. Okay, Penelope, what shall we do today? I have an idea. How about a friend meeting? Good idea. I'll call Jenny, Roy, Guava, Courtney, and Gwen about this friend meeting. Hello, Jenny. Oh, hi, Chloe. What's up? Are you, Roy, and Guava available for this friend meeting? Fortunately for you, Chloe, we are always available. Where is this friend meeting taking place? It will take place in a diner. Okay, Chloe, we will see you there. Bye. Okay, time to call Gwen and Courtney. Hello, Chloe. What's up? Are you and Gwen available for this friend meeting? It's at the diner, by the way. Yes, we are. We're always available. We will see you there. Okay, Penelope, are you ready? Ready for what? Chloe, glad you asked. Mom, me, Jenny, Roy, Guava, Courtney, Gwen, and Penelope are going to have a friend meeting at the diner. Oh my gosh, Chloe. I hope you have fun at the friend meeting. But, Chloe, I will say that I am very glad that you are making more friends. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Anyway, I will see you both later. Wait a second. Chloe, my girlfriend, if you're still in boating school, why are you driving a car? Even though I have a driver's license, I'm still in that school because boating school is the only school in Bikini Bottom. Okay, but that still made no sense. Okay, Penelope, time for this friend meeting to start. Oh, look, here comes Chloe. Hello, guys, long time, no see. Hi. Chloe, you're right. Long time, no see. Wait a second, who's that girl? My name is Penelope. Nice to meet you guys. Anyway, time for the friend meeting to start. What is this friend meeting about? Well, do you all miss hanging out with me? Yes. I do. Me as well. Of course. You did say long time, no see. The answer to the question is yes. Well, fortunately for you guys, we're gonna have a friend group. Really? A friend group? Ah. Uh, I, I think what Chloe means is she wants to form a friend group with all seven of us. Is that correct, Chloe? That is fortunately correct. Courtney, we can do some fun challenges. You mean like some witchy challenges? And the hot pepper challenge, which you won an award for. Wait, when Chloe won an award for being the first person to do the hot pepper challenge in Bikini Bottom. That is correct. We would know. We were with Chloe when that happened. Excuse me, guys, are you gonna order something or what? Do you mind, Daddy? We're having a friend meeting. Wait a second, Penelope. 
Brooklyn T. Guy is your dad. First, Lucy is your mom, and now Brooklyn T. Guy is your dad. What is even going on? Allow me to explain. Chloe, Lucy is my wife because we got married. That is why Penelope called me daddy and called Lucy mommy. Okay, that makes sense. Daddy, can you please not interrupt our friend meeting, please? This friend meeting was my girlfriend, Chloe's idea. Oh, uh, okay, weird. Wow, that was rude. Calling us being heard. Brooklyn T guy is probably not used to us being in love with each other. Jenny, will there be a rule about saying any word from the LGBTQ? Let's see. Yeah, it is against the rules. I'm actually glad you wanted to check. That reminds me, who keeps treating you badly and hurting you? Honestly, their names are Shake, Frillick, Meatwick, Amy, Charlie, Pim, Angus, Parker, Russell, Knife, Trophy, Bubble Base, and Orange. They are the ones bullying me and hurting me. We must find a way to get revenge on Shake and his friends for picking on you. But the question is how can we give Shake and his friends what they deserve? I think I may have an idea. Guys, wanna listen to it? Excuse me, Chloe and friends. Can I talk to you guys for a minute, please? Okay, but make it quick, please. Unless you guys are gonna order something, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Diners are not for having meetings. Okay, that was rude. Kicking us out of the diner. How rude. Wait a minute. Look. Okay, guys. Today is my birthday and we're gonna go to a museum and have a party at my house. Oh my gosh, everyone. Here's our plan. We're gonna have mom, dad, tall, Mr. Krabs, Eric Alberg, Test Tube, Mater, McQueen, some of my other friends, and ourselves make a machine to beat up Shake and his friends as a birthday present. Oh, that is a good idea. Who will make the machine? We'll ask Test Tube to make the machine since she is the smartest one. Will the machine also give me a wedgie? What are you talking about? It can do anything to Shake and his friends. I hate it when they bully me. I hear that they ripped me in half, decapitated me with a pumpkin, scared me with a remote control spider, killed me with a train, gave me a restraining order, and kidnapped all the jellyfishes. Those are their evil actions. Chloe, I have a feeling that this is gonna work. Where did you come up with this idea? We all heard Shake. Today is his birthday. That is what gave me this idea. Come on, everyone. Let's get that machine ready and wrapped up. Everyone, follow me. I know where Test Tube's house is. Let's go. Okay, everyone. It's almost time for the party to start. Hey, we did invite him. Why are you all here? We never invited any of you weirdos. We're gonna have to ask you to leave. It's rude to come here uninvited. Why would we leave? Shake. Today is your birthday. We can't leave. We all miss your birthday. We didn't even invite you all. This party is just gonna be me, Shake, Frylock, Meatwood, Charlie, Pin, Angus. Parker, Russell, Nye, Trophy, Bubble Base, and Event. But did you at least get a present for Shake? Yes, we have a birthday present for Shake. You know what? Since you guys have Shake's present, you guys can stay. But do not get too comfortable. You guys can only stay for Shake to open his presents. Afterwards, you all have to leave. Understand. That is hurtful but fair. But if you guys and gone after Shake opens his presence, we will call the cops. You don't want that. Ah! Yeah, Jeffy just screamed. That means he doesn't want to go to jail. You better leave after Shake opens his presence. You all can only stay for Shake to open his gifts. That's it. You have to be pulling our leg right now. Sorry. It's all. But they are serious. We were invited, but this was Chloe's idea. Darn right, we are serious. Why did you even think you were invited? We tell you, but unfortunately, that would spoil your gift, so we will not tell you. You know what? That makes sense. We aren't supposed to know what gift you wrapped for Shake yet. It would ruin the surprise for him. If my surprise gets ruined, I'm gonna be so angry, and I don't want that. Shake, wanna open your presents now? Sure. I was about to ask if I can open my present now anyway. Let's go. Oh my gosh. What is the thing? Hey. The machine is giving me a wedgie. That hurts. That is the worst birthday present ever for Shay. This is unacceptable. 
What is this? That is a beating up machine. It will beat you up in many ways, and that includes getting you wedgies like it did to Amy. I cannot believe this. Why would you give that to us? I had this machine. Chloe, why is the machine bullying us? Is it because we bullied you? Yes, you have been bullying me multiple times. I'm getting tired of it. This is unacceptable. You are being bullies. Come on, Chloe. You all don't have to hurt us with that machine. We were bullying you because we hate you. Did that machine just poke me? Cause it hurt so bad. I hope there isn't any more pain. There is a lot of pain on that machine. You deserve to get hurt. The damn thing just punched me in the face. What the heck is wrong with you guys? You are all the boys. Bring it on, machine. Give us all the pain you got for us. We are prepared for it. Okay, I might be a cloud, but I have feelings. And it hurts my feelings cause that machine just slapped me. If that thing is trying to take my brain out to kill me, well, nice try. Cause I don't have a brain as I am a meatball. That's right. Put the robot arm away. It is bullying us. Let's destroy it. Fortunately for me, I have the CNT. We can destroy the machine with this. Good idea. Shit. Go do your thing right now. Now, all of you, get out now. Did you all enjoy the surprise party, guys? You know what? I'll tell you in a second. That was the worst birthday gift I ever had. Hopefully next year will be a better birthday. This year wasn't acceptable. Uh-oh. Shake. Bomb. Yes, Chloe. We enjoyed it very much. There's just one thing I don't understand. If we all left Shake's house, how did a bomb explode in his house? Oh, before we left, we lit the bomb and then it exploded. Anyway, Jenny, Roy, Guava, Courtney, Gwen, and Penelope, I declare this friend group formed. Oh my gosh, Chloe, we are very proud of you. You made a friend group. I love it. But, Chloe, I'm assuming the friend meeting is about forming a friend group. Correct, Dad. The friend meeting is about forming a friend group. Oh, and by the way, thanks for building the machine to beat up Shake and his friends. Test 2. Oh, no problem, Chloe. But I'm mad that they destroyed it. I worked really hard on it and they destroyed it. So rude. Test 2. You are also mad because you are stressed. You need to get some sleep when we all get home. You know what? You're right, Jenny. I could use some sleep to get rid of the stress. Anyway, guys, beating up Shake and his friends was a successful mission. Good job, everyone. Babu ba ba babu. This is ridiculous.